Hello guys, in front of you today is the new Luminox Times Bear Grylls uh, Chronograph, which is a pretty cool watch that they did in collaboration with this guy, uh, Bear Grylls. He was a former uh, military personnel, and he does all kind of crazy things. Uh, you can follow him on Instagram if you want to learn more about him. But it's basically an adventurous watch, you know, something that's very durable and tough. This is the chronograph version that we're going to be taking a look at. comes in this nice Luminox box. Actually, this is the first time I actually ever reviewed a Luminox watch. And I already took the watch out, but it comes in this box. You do get your warranty and your manual as well, as well as your watch in there. Very nicely protected, a very useful box, very durable and Tough box, Luminox logo, Luminox logo on the top, Swiss made. Here is the watch in front of you. This is the Luminox Survival Ser Master Series Chronograph. And it's a very, very nice watch. I was quite surprised. Um, we'll go over the specs in a little bit, but I just wanted to take you, get you guys a first look at this watch and all the cool instruments it has. So it is a chronograph, as you can see here. It does have those nice tritium loom tubes, uh, which is pretty cool. Nice rubberized orange crown. Uh, orange does match the accents on the hour and minutes hand, which is pretty cool. Another nice cool thing is the compass it comes with, which can be detached as well, uh, which is very useful if you're, you know, hiking or camping or in the wild. You know, not something you would need for everyday use in like an office environment or something like that, but definitely useful if you're camping or something like that, or you're stuck in the wild. And if you didn't notice here on this uh, genuine rubber band, it actually has a ruler, inches and centimeters. I thought that was pretty cool. And on the other side, you have a kilometer measurement, uh, which I'm not really sure how to use that yet, but I'll figure it out. And then you have your chronograph, of course, you know, a very, very cool watch. And you even have a bezel here with some more stuff you can do. We'll get all into it right now. Now the actual 45 millimeter case itself is made of Carbonox. That's Luminox's special name for the carbon case. Uh, it's very lightweight. Uh, it's very durable as well. It's pretty tough also, I have come to notice. Um, but of course the pushers and the crown are in solid 316L stainless steel. And we do get a nice genuine rubber band, so no silicone on this one. Uh, which is pretty nice. The band is actually really nice. And of course we do get a nice chunky stainless steel Luminox signed buckle as well. The watch itself is 45 in diameter side to side. We're looking at 14 millimeters in terms of case thickness. Uh, we're looking at a 24 millimeter lug width here. And it's basically running a Swiss made quartz chronograph movement, uh, which are very reliable, very accurate and movements that will last, you know, pretty much a lifetime. This one is running the Ronda 5021D chronograph movement. It actually has a 395 battery life, which is 50 months. Um, that's a pretty long time. I mean, you're not really gonna have to change this battery out for, you know, quite a long time. We have 12 months in a year. Four years is 48 months, four years and two months. That is a long time. So I would not worry about changing the battery out on this one. A nice feature also is this is a chronograph and we do get 200 meters of water resistance, so no issues taking this thing in the water on any adventure you should happen to go on. We get a, we get a rubberized uh, screw down crown, which is actually really nice. And I'll show you that in a little bit. Now, some other stuff about this watch. Well, the crystal, we're getting a hardened mineral crystal, um, which some people, you know, I, th I believe most Luminox watches do have hardened mineral crystals. I believe the more expensive one is a sapphire crystal, um, if you want to check that out. Anyway, some other stuff about this watch. We went over the compass already, and um, it's just very adventure themed. Obviously, you know, it's overworked. It's meant to be like, you know, a crazy watch for the apocalypse or something like that. But I think they did a very nice job on the watch and the overall design, as you can see on the case back here, which is screwed down in solid stainless brush steel. It does say never give up with the Bear Grylls signature Luminox Swiss made Carbonox case mineral crystal. And then you get your number there water resistant 200 meters. But the quality feels very good. I was quite surprised by that. And of course, that's a big thing for many of you watch lovers out there. I'm gonna go ahead and slide the compass off, as you can see right here. So if you don't wanna wear the compass, it's rubberized, it's pretty pretty tough actually. Um, you can just pop it off. So no issues there if you don't wanna use the compass. Now um, about this watch. So we get a screw down crown, which is rubberized. It is signed with the Luminox logo, if you can see there. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew the crown. Really solid pop out, I was quite surprised by that. Absolutely no wiggle on the crown, which is a good sign. Uh, pull it out one position, we get a quick set date down at the six o'clock position. Then we get your hacking uh, in your final position. 
We do have tritium loom tubes on the hands, which will glow for about 25 years, I believe, which is, you know, a pretty long time. They're basically always glowing. There also is loom tubes over here at 12 and 369. I will show you that when I shut the lights out. But other than that, you set the time, and it's pretty simple there. So we have three subdials, your 30-minute subdial, your running seconds, which does uh, say I never give up or never give up, which is pretty cool. Zero through 60 track here for the minutes and seconds. And of course, you get your Luminox logo, orange tipped uh, seconds hand for the chronograph. Set the time, push that back in, screw that back down. And the chronograph, I'm going to go ahead and start it, as you can see. Um, on this one, everything is lining up good to the markers, so that's a nice sign there. Perfect there. Pretty cool. You can stop and then reset with the bottom one, very easy. Or you can do a lapse time as well, which is pretty nice. So a lapse time, I'm going to go ahead and stop it with the bottom one. And we'll wait 10 seconds. It'll start up again in 10, where it should be if I didn't stop it. As you can see there, nice little feature there. And stop and reset as usual. So yeah, um, a pretty cool watch. You know, I like the bezel as well. I believe the other one, which is more expensive, has an actual rotating bezel. So you can time things as well as use the chronograph. Uh, but this bezel on here, if I get you in close enough, it, it is uh, calculating walking speed, uh, which is a pretty cool calculation. I guess if you're walking through a jungle or a forest, uh, you might want to do that to know, you know how long it's going to take you to get from point A to point B and how many miles. Uh, so that's a nice function that, you know, not everybody might use, but it's cool to have all these functions, even though you might not use some of them. Anyway, um, the band itself, like I stated, is genuine rubber, 24 millimeters, and it's really nice. Um, I was quite surprised by the quality of this genuine rubber band here. You get more calculations on the back as well. And overall, very comfortable and very flexible straight out of the box there. And yeah, overall, a pretty cool looking watch. Now, my wrist is 6.5 inches, and this watch is 45 millimeters, but I can definitely wear it. And I'm going to show you how it looks on my 6.5 inch wrist right now. There she is on my 6.5 inch wrist. And I'll tell you, it's quite comfortable. As you can see there, the ruler, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it looks, you know, it looks good on my wrist. My wrist is not that big. It's 6.5 inches, and this is a 45 millimeter case. Although you can see the carbon case does slope down a little towards the lugs, uh, which I happen to like. No issues reading the watch. As you can see, the light is glaring on it right now, and you can definitely still read the time pretty clear with this hardened mineral crystal. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. The buckle also conforms very nicely to the strap. It doesn't stick out. I think it's a good size for this 45 millimeter case as well. As you can see, you can see the tritium loom tubes, but for some reason on camera, they don't show up as good in real life. I mean, they don't show up as good on the camera as they do in real life, but you can see it on the uh, hour and minutes hand and at 12, 3, 6, and 9. Um, you can definitely see it. I will try to get you a better shot of that. But you can definitely see it. I mean, in real life, I can see it right now, nice and bright in the dark. Now, there are a bunch of different variations of the Bear Grylls series. There's a standard diver, kind of. Then there's the one that's a little upgraded from this one. This one is the second most expensive one. So you're looking about, you know, around $600 or something like that. I will drop a link in the description below so you can check them out after this video if you're interested in purchasing one of these. Uh, but definitely a very cool watch. And this is my first uh, Luminox watch. And I was quite surprised. Uh, they're very nice. I think the quality is cool. I like these Carbonox cases. I think they're very durable. And they're very lightweight as well. Not super lightweight where you don't like feel it, which I'm happy about. I can definitely feel the watch on my wrist with this rubber strap, which does add some weight. And overall, I think it's a very well-made watch. There are absolutely zero quality control issues, which I do appreciate. And I really can't find anything where, uh, wrong with it. I mean, obviously, if you're, you know, someone who doesn't really like this style of adventure and, you know, a bunch of different calculations on your watch, you're not going to like this watch. But if you're someone you know, likes is an outdoors outdoors kind of guy, I would say. Uh, this is definitely a cool watch to take a look at. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, as usual, and I'll get back to you there. You can definitely subscribe to the channel right now. I have a lot of cool stuff coming up. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for tuning in once again. Bye.